Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be building Susan Meyer's house from the TV series Desperate Housewives. It is one of my all time favourite TV shows. I just love it so much. Um, so I thought I would give it a go at building the housewives houses. So we're going to be starting with Susan's house. Um, I hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, let me know what you think in the comments. Give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me. Okay, so I have been absolutely loving Desperate Housewives again recently. Um, it is a TV show that I have watched for maybe at least three times now. Um, I just absolutely love it. I don't know what it is about the show. I think it's like the characters and how different they are. They just draw you in and then there's drama left, right and centre going on on the show. Um, it is just so fantastic. Like so well written and the characters are so well represented as well it's just a brilliant brilliant series i would 100 percent recommend if you have not seen desperate housewives to go and watch it you will not regret it you really won't regret it um so i've been watching it recently it's kind of my comfort show so usually in my mornings before i start streaming i chill with millie on the sofa um, and watch some tv and recently, um, like the last while, I've been watching Desperate Housewives. It's one of those shows where I will always go back to it and I will always enjoy it. It's just so, so brilliant. And so I decided that I wanted to create all of the Desperate, well, all of the Housewives <laughs> houses in The Sims 4. I think it would be really, really cool. Um, so I thought I'd start off with the one that looked the easiest, which was Susan Meyer's house who later on in the um, series becomes Susan Delfino. Now, Susan, I relate to quite a lot. She is very kind of accident prone. She's kind of very ditzy, a bit of a klutz. Um, and I myself am very, very clumsy. I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm kind of here, there and everywhere. So out of all the housewives, I kind of relate to Susan the most in that sense. But she is fantastic. She is a strong woman. She's just something else. She's really, really brilliant. Um, and I just love everything about her. I love how much her character develops throughout the whole series. Like in the first um, season, she is married to Carl and then he cheats on her and she goes through this whole kind of thing um, after that. Um, and then she... And then she's, you know, like a single mum with Julie and brings up this like wonderful, wonderful child, Julie, who's incredibly smart and talented. She then, I think, goes through her fair share of, of, of men, I believe. She, she starts dating a few men and then eventually ends up with Mike Delfino. And they have little, what was the kid called? Oh, what was his name? Oh, really, really cute kid. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, MJ. So she ends up having MJ with Mike and then um, lots of stuff happens with her and Mike. But then, yeah, no, it's just brilliant. I don't wanna give out too many spoilers, but she's she's brilliant. And I think as well, um, like I was looking up about her on the Desperate Housewives wiki, like, cause I know some things, but you know, I don't know everything. And a lot of people kind of, felt that her portrayal was that she was kind of the most fragile housewife kind of the most like the nicest one out of them all um which i can kind of see that there's been a few scenarios where she's come across as the gentle kind sort of one um the one that's not too sort of involved in the drama or actually to be fair she does have a lot of drama in the first few series but i can definitely see that portrayal is true um, so I thought that I would start off with Susan's house in The Sims um, because in my opinion it's kind of the easiest to do. I think it's the smallest one as well. So I thought we'd start with Susan and then work our way up. Um, now the outside of the house I was quite happy with. I don't think, um, I don't think we've ever seen Susan's back garden. So I just kind of did a small back garden with a swimming pool. Um, a lot of the other housewives do have pools in their back garden like I know that Gabby does and i think when um when she was alive the the first housewife what's her name the one like the, in the first episode <laughs> um mary alice when um 
yeah, I think they had a swimming pool in their back garden as well. So I kind of just assumed that she might have a swimming pool. So I did add that into the back garden. Um, and also I didn't really know what the back of the house looked like as well. So it doesn't look that fantastic, but I just kind of did what I thought it might look, it look, it might look like. I think for me, the hardest part of this was the inside. So obviously with the TV show, it is, it's all on a set. Um, so as much as I think, I don't really know exactly, but I think they used, they must have used um, some sort of houses for Wisteria Lane to create Wisteria Lane. Um, but I think the interior shots were all done on a set. So I didn't do too much um, like in replicating the interior apart from the downstairs. So the downstairs, I managed to create that front area where she's got her kitchen and then she's got that seating area. And there's a little bit as well to the left of the house. I did manage to create that. And in a few shots as well, you can see, I think there's where she has a meal with Carlos and Gabby um, in her dining room. So I did that as well. And a few lounge living room area shots also. But it was very hard to do the interior. Now the upstairs of the build is just completely um, guess. It's just me filling in some things to add bedrooms. So it is not spot on at all. Um, but I was super happy with how the outside turned out. I did also add a um, truck in the front garden for Mike as well. Um, because Mike was a plumber so he would be out on jobs and everything and you can see that in his series he was a hard working man um, so he would be out doing jobs to get money for Susan and MJ I think um, Julie in later series moved out of the home um, so again I don't want to give too many spoilers if people are watching it or whatever but um, yeah Mike was very busy with his plumbing business but no, Susan, I really, I think because I relate to her so much um, and I feel as though she's quite similar to me in certain aspects, um, I just, I really enjoyed doing her build and I just love watching all of the housewives. They're just so, all, all so fantastic in so many different ways. Like I love how organised Brie is, like the organisation and how everything kind of has to be perfect. I really love that about Brie. And then Gabby, she's just um, a bit of a like a, 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 a diva kind of thing. Um, and she's just so funny. There's so many funny scenes with Gabby. Mind you, there's so many funny scenes with all of them. Um, but Gabby in particular has some really, really brilliant scenes. And with her kids as well, Juanita and the other one. <laughs> Can't remember the other one. Um, but yeah, and then Lynette as well. The fact that she was a woman of five children. She had five children and she still was a workaholic. She would go to work, um, work at her job in, I think it was in the um, advertising, I believe, um, while managing five children as well. I just find that so fantastic. At the moment, I think I'm on um, season eight. So as I said, I've watched this series so many times and I think I'm up to season eight. And uh, without spoiling too much, um, Lynette's kind of going through a rough time. Um, and it makes me so sad. Like some of the scenes are quite emotional. Um, there are, I think with these types of things, you just, whether it's like relating to the characters as well, or I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a mother um, and I'm not a housewife. So I can't relate on that side of things. But in certain scenes, there is that element of like relating to relating to the housewives like Gabby for example she um came to the city and uh, sorry she she came from the city to the neighborhood and to Wisteria Lane and she just did not get on with like um the people in her um in her life when she lived in the city when she was doing modeling and everything um, and then she found it hard to make friends. But then the girls all gathered around and they brought her into their little group where they would do poker, they would have dinners and everything like that. And there's so many relatable things. There's so many like relatable scenes in it. Like for example, one of the characters getting cancer as well, which is so devastating and so, so sad. It is really emotional. I find myself like I'm sobbing <laughs> on the sofa some mornings watching it. 
and Susan as well. Susan gets to a point where um, her and Mike are really struggling for money and she has to do things to um, to try and get that money back and to try and get the money so that she can she can live in her home again and she can provide for MJ. Like it is it is it's a fantastic show and it really does um, dive into some really real stories and bring about a lot of realism um and that's what i love about it i think i think it's because the characters are so relatable um it's it's easy to watch it's fantastic the shows you can you, you'll be laughing one second you'll be crying the next um it's just fantastic and the way all the characters are represented as well just makes it 10 times better so now we're moving on here and in the lounge living area um, I'd seen a couple of shots of um, of images and I knew that there was an art um, section for Susan. So Susan is an artist. She um, writes, no, she illustrates children's books, I believe. And in later series, she does start going to art school, I think. Um, so obviously she's going to have a space in her house for her easel and her for, for her paintwork and all of her art. So I did include that now in the lounge living room space while I did a TV area. Again, I don't know if this is exact. Um, I'm sure it's not exact, but I did just give it kind of to the best of my ability of what I thought that it would look like. But yeah, and then we moved on to the dining room as well. And this is only in um, one kind of shot. Um, I think it's where, as I said, when Carlos and Gabby um, come over for dinner, I think it was when Mike was running low on money, he was running low on cash and Carlos basically gave him some um, money, like he loaned some money and didn't tell the, the girls, they didn't tell their wives and uh, Gabby and Susan did some like revenge type thing and hosted a dinner and it was just, it was quite a funny, a funny series of, uh, a series of events um, because they didn't, the men didn't know what was going on but the girls knew all about them kind of going behind their backs and everything and yeah so that's the only time that the dining room was in was in shots I think but I did try my best and then when it comes to upstairs I googled a lot to try and find images of the upstairs and I found some of the bedrooms but there's only certain angles in the bedrooms so again I kind of just played it by ear and made made the upstairs hallway and made the upstairs bedrooms and bathroom just from what I would think it would look like. There's not actually a lot of clutter in this build. Um, I didn't clutter up as I do to my usual builds. Um, it was, I, I, I just didn't really know exactly what to do. Um, so this would be the main bedroom. So Ma um, Mike and Susan's bedroom would be the largest. Um, and I do know, I remember actually seeing some shots in the earlier episodes, like in the earlier seasons, I do remember shots of their bedroom. Um, I can actually think of the scenes like um, come to mind, but um, I didn't know which episode it was. And there are like 20 something episodes in each season. I think there's, is there like eight seasons, I think, of, of Desperate Housewives? So um, I didn't want to go like looking through and searching for um, shots of their bedroom. I would have been here all morning trying to do it. So um, I kind of just did it to the best of my ability. Now, this room I imagined would be, um, what's her name? What's her daughter's name? Ah, yeah, Julie. So I imagined this would be Julie's room, maybe growing up. Julie, obviously, for a while, Susan was a single mum to Julie and basically raised her single-handedly. Obviously, Carl was in the picture, but I think um, Susan would have been a complete role model to Julie um, and she did so well as well. Julie was fantastic at school. I remember in like earlier episodes. She... I remember at one point, I think it was like Brie and her daughter were staying at Susan's for some reason. I think there had been a fire or something of the sort where Brie was staying. And I think Brie um, and her daughter were staying in uh, Julie's bedroom. But again, I couldn't remember what it looked like. So um, yeah, and then we don't see really any shots of the bathrooms. So I kind of played it by ear with that.
And then the final room, I imagine that to be MJ's room, um, Susan's younger son. Now he is kind of in school. I, I would say he's probably, I'm not sure exactly, but around eight or nine. So I added a um, cute little toy area for him. Um, I think at one point he did have a little dinosaur as well. Um, and it nearly got sold or it did get sold at a garage sale when Susan and Mike were trying to get more money. Um, so I, I liked, I thought that would be cool to include. And yeah, we just created his little room as well. And that pretty much wraps up this build of Susan Meyer's house in Desperate Housewives. I would 100% recommend watching this show. It is so, so good. Let me know in the comments if you did enjoy this and what um, and whose house from Desperate Housewives you would like me to see next. Thank you again for watching. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had great fun building Susan's house. It was a little bit tricky and doing the interior as well was quite hard because we only see certain parts of the house because at the end of the day, it is a set. Um, but I just played it by ear and with the bedrooms as well, they were all completely random um, because you don't see a lot of it in the TV show. Um, so I did mess around with it a lot, but I'm still happy with the end result. Um, I hope that you I hope that you lot enjoyed it. If you did, then hit that like button, pop a comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time. Taz out.